Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. This is my last video of 2022, and I want to talk a little bit today about what went on, kind of recap the year, and talk about what's coming ahead in 2023 for my YouTube channel and my website and different things that we do. Uh, first off, 2022 was a year we kind of got back to normal after the COVID mess. And after being cooped up and not being able to go places, we kind of got out and were able to do stuff. The supply chain issues are still with us. We are not totally back to normal on the supply chain, but uh, on some items uh, are still short, but on new tractors, uh, the supply has been replenished. And almost, I'm waiting to see the final numbers for 2022, but we're close to an area where there's gonna be plenty of tractors and maybe we can go back to bargaining a little bit when we buy one. We'll keep a close eye on that in 2023. Uh, you know, nobody that sells tractors really wants to bargain. They'd rather sell for full price. And when you have tight supplies, they can do that. But when the supply chain gets filled back up, as it's happening right now, and the demand slacks off just a little bit, interest rates go up, all of a sudden it turns back, and it usually turns back pretty fast in the ag business, to a buyer's market where you can negotiate and get a little better deal than you would have the previous year. So we're looking at that and watching that real closely. Uh, looking back at 2022, some things that happened with me. In March of this year, uh, my business grew to the point where I could hire a salesperson. And I got Brian, who you've seen in some of my videos, and really enjoyed working with Brian. He and I see the business really close to the same. And we worked together for five years in the dealership world and he was one of the best sales guys I've ever met. His follow-up is incredible. If you're looking for a product on my website and you've got any questions whatsoever, just shoot an email through the website and Brian will get right back with you. His follow-up is better than any salesperson I've ever been around. So that happened in March and we've been working together for nine months now and uh, I hope he's as excited as I am about where we're going. But it's been great having somebody on board. You know, I started an online business and then COVID hit and everybody started ordering everything online. And for two years, I, it was a little crazy in my life. And that got a lot better this year when Brian joined our team. Uh, the other thing that happened in late June of this year, I got to go to the Pacific Northwest and appear at Brim Tractors Open House. They had uh, open houses at four different dealerships that are part of that family and got to meet a lot of great people and a lot of great viewers. and and, uh, and uh, interact with the Brim folks. And I always love doing that, getting out and being among dealers. I, I really enjoy being out with farm equipment dealers because that's where I've spent my career. Uh, and it's always good to catch up on the gossip and hear how things are going in their world. So I got to do that in late June and early July and see a part of the world that is absolutely gorgeous. If you've never been to the Pacific Northwest, especially out toward the coast, you need to go. And then I got to travel again in uh, November of this year. Got a call uh, sometime in October from the folks at Lube Shuttle, and they said, we'd like you to come work our booth at the uh, Royal Agricultural Fair. And so I was in Toronto, Canada in November, and normally that'd be horrible. But this year it was unseasonably warm, and there was a big full moon over Lake Ontario, and it was awesome. Spent several days in Toronto, got to see their what do they call it? The big, uh, it's not called the Space Needle, it's called the, uh, it's either the BN or the CN Tower. I think it's the CN Tower. Really cool, once the tallest building in the world. I saw it, didn't go up in it, no way I'm going up in it, but I got to see it. Pretty cool. And then we spent a couple of days around Niagara Falls and Lake Niagara uh, over there on the Canadian side. I just had a great time and uh, want to thank Lube Shuttle for giving us that opportunity. Well, looking forward to 2023, a couple of the things that are gonna happen on my YouTube channel. Uh, first off, I'm very committed personally to preserving some of the history of the farm equipment world. There's a lot of information in the tractor business and the equipment business that needs to be preserved, and I'm not sure it's being done properly. And, and there's a lot of history and a lot of folks that were involved in making that history that is going to be lost if someone doesn't work on preserving it. And that's one thing I'm probably going to be doing in 2023 because I think it's important that we, we get a video record of what went on in the equipment business to get from having all of these manufacturers that all came together and now we have just a very few. So I'm going to be doing that this year. Uh, as a result, 
I may not be doing a video every single week. I've done a video a week for like, I think, eight years. And uh, sometimes videos take a little extra preparation and some travel. So if, you, if I miss a week once in a while, uh, don't think I've died. But uh, I'm, I'm going to be preparing for doing some more in-depth videos about the history of the farm equipment business and how we got where we are. Um, another thing I'd like to do, and this is kind of tied together, I'd like to get out and travel, maybe meet some of you folks. I've got some viewers that have written to me and said, you need to come by and see our place in South Dakota or in Czechoslovakia, or that's not the Czechoslovakia, but the Czech Republic or someplace crazy. And I, I doubt if I make it to the Czech Republic, but some other places around the country where you guys have, have settled and you've watched my videos, I'd like to get out and, and see you and hear your story and preserve that on video. And finally, with my website, uh, you know, I make, uh, make my living, really, with a website, online business, selling unique uh, products. And sometimes you guys get on me, and I get that, about trying to sell a little bit too much on YouTube. And I watch people all the time, and I'm like, I, I, I get it when you try to sell you, you kind of lose a little bit of the credibility, but you also got to pay the bills. You know, in a niche market like this, with the YouTube channel I've got and the subscriber base I've got, uh, I've got to do something to supplement my income, and having that website is cool. And I try to keep it. I don't sell everything on there, but the products that are maybe underrepresented or confusing to the average person, I like to change those and get them where you can order them and get the right thing. Uh, some products that were underrepresented, people didn't know were available that will help you be more productive with your tractor. I have those on there. I don't have everything uh, known to man on there. I've, I've resisted the temptation to do that. But I've got some new products coming. Number one, that that make your world easier if you need to order them. And number two, that will make your tractor owning experience more productive. We're coming out with some updates on some existing products and some new products that uh, I'm really excited about. Finally today, I'd like to close with a pretty big thing that happened on my YouTube channel this year. Um, you know, 100,000 subscribers is a big deal in the YouTube world. It's, it's not a big deal like viral or anything, but in the niche market that I serve, hitting 100,000 uh, subscribers was a big deal. And we did that this year, uh, I think it was in June or July. Uh, actually, my family was probably more excited about it than I was, but it, it's, it's a, an accomplishment that I'm proud of. and I. I couldn't do it, of course, without you, the viewer. And I appreciate you guys uh, taking time to watch my channel and subscribe and send in questions. That's another thing I'll be doing in 2023 like I've done for the past several years is anytime there's a question from a viewer, I'll try to answer it with a video if I haven't answered it already. And so keep watching, keep subscribing, keep those cards and letters coming if you've got questions about tractors. I'm a safe place where if you've got a question that you think is a little bit dumb and you don't want to be made fun of, I guarantee you I don't ever look at a question as being dumb and I never berate the person that wrote it. you got to learn somehow and I appreciate folks that want to learn more about their tractors and equipment so they can get more done and be more productive. But I do appreciate all you've done for me in 2022 and I look forward to the future in 2023 and beyond and hopefully I'll get out a little bit more and be able to meet some of you on the road. But I appreciate you watching and I wish every one of you a tremendous 2023. Thanks for watching.